Hi there, I am Erman from Analyzeify team. This is our Google Tag Manager Data Analytics course for Shopify stores. We came to the most exciting section of the course. I am sure you are all watching this to achieve this final result. You want to set up Google Ads and Facebook Pixels conversion tracking and complete Google Analytics for e-commerce tracking setup. To achieve an accurate conversion tracking results, you need the data layers and you also need the Google Tag Manager already set up on your store. So if you haven't done those steps, don't worry, we got you covered. Just go back to previous videos of our course and do those steps first. In the previous videos, we have completed the basics. We have placed the GTM container into your Shopify store and then we have added the global Google Analytics tags. And lastly, in the previous step, we have created a checkout purchase tracking data layer for your Shopify store. And we also created custom variables and triggers in your Google Tag Manager account. We will use all of them in this video while we are setting up the conversions. So let's start adding our Facebook Pixel, Global Tag and also Purchase Event Tag. In the Tag section, click New and name it Facebook Pixel Global Tag. In the Tag Configuration, choose Tag Type and then click Community Template Gallery. Here search for Facebook and find the Facebook Pixel from Facebook Incubator. Click that and click choose template. Here it's going to ask you the Facebook Pixel ID. In your Facebook Pixel settings, you will find your Facebook Pixel ID under the pixels. If you cannot find, just search in your Facebook Business Manager and you will find the pixels under data sources. So copy your Facebook Pixel ID and paste it to the ID section. As the first event, choose standard and page view so that this tag will be triggered in every page load. Click triggering and choose all pages. Save it. Now we added the global tag. It's time for it's time to add the conversion tag. Click new and name it as Facebook Pixel Conversion. This time as you have already chosen, you will find it under your if you search, it will just come under custom. And you need to paste your Facebook Pixel ID again. From the events, choose purchase. We will send some values together with the Facebook tag. And this is the documentation for Facebook for developers. So we will be sending currency, content type, and also value. So let's start doing that one by one. Come back to the object properties add property, type value, and then choose your the value data layer variable which we have created in the previous steps. And then it's time for the currency. You can directly write your currency code this way. And lastly, the content type. Again, we can write the content type directly as product. In this way, your total value together with your currency and together with your content type will be sent to Facebook Pixel as a conversion event through Google Tag Manager. Let's save it. Oh, yeah, we didn't add the trigger. Let's add the trigger finally. The trigger will be the custom purchase event we have created in the previous step. And let's just, let's just save it. So before I submit, again, we will do a preview and debug. Click preview. I'll go to my test store and run a purchase, purchase just to see if it is triggered correctly. Let's complete our purchase quickly and then uh, we will see in the final steps if the trigger will work nicely. So the, the purchase is completed and we have the purchase event here. As you can see, Facebook Pixel conversion event is triggered. And let's just see the value, the currency and the product. So we are sending the correct values with the Facebook Pixel conversion event. So now we have also completed this, uh, this step, so you can move to the next steps. Thank you.